Councillor Moore. Uh, run the risk of, of, of running into an area that's, uh, that's not yours, Councillor Moore. We're on page 41, uh, E7. Um, I, uh, looking at the, uh, and I, this I'm sure will amuse Councillor um, Marshall, because it's uh, something that gets us going sometimes, but I am going to express concerns about oh, the issues around the savings through reduction of trade union costs. I um, have grown up and uh, uh, in my working life to, to uh, recognise that workplace unions are an important part of good employee, work rela um, uh, employee relations. And um, the reduction of the budget supporting um, trade union time from 112,000 down to taking 80,000 out of that is a significant, a huge proportion of the budget. And I just uh, want to question whether actually that will enable um, union um, representatives to continue to do their proper job in terms of representing um, their union members in a, a, a properly negotiated around um, health and safety workplace um, you know, terms and conditions and, uh, and a number of other things which they do legitimately as part of our, our relationship between staff and employers. Um, I have to answer that question. I come from a completely different standpoint on this. I think that they should be able to do their job without any funding whatsoever. I think that it can happen within uh, office hours. There's lots of examples of councils, uh, other authorities across London and across the country that provide no funding for uh, union activity and um, I believe that we should be moving to a model and as a, where we don't provide any funding for union activity. I think as I stated before, if we're looking, in term, if we're looking to make cuts out there, there's some very difficult decisions. I think this is a clear area where we can make some even more savings. The proposals at the moment still provide generous amounts of funding, over generous in my personal view. Uh, towards the, the, the service. I think that um, as we go forward and tough decisions are made, we'll get to a point soon where we remove all funding the sooner it is. Grant, that's not your department, is it? Grant, is that my Okay. Um, any, uh, sorry, Councillor Newton. Well, just, just to go back um, to uh, trade union funding, I, mean, I, I declare an interest in the number of units in the trade union. I, I have to say, I, you know, we were talking about consultation earlier before, we were talking about uh, talking to um, trade unions, as a, the trade unions as representatives of their workers. I think, you know, it's, more, it's not really a question, it's more of a comment, but I think you've, you've just basically disproved any interest whatsoever in talking to the people who work for them. I think that's very sad. I, I, I disagree totally. What I say is that I don't think work that they do needs to be funded by us. They do some excellent work. As I said, there's lots of other local authorities and, and organisations across London which do not fund, but the trade unions provide uh, excellent service to their members. I, I, by no means, I don't think the work that these unions do, they provide an excellent service to their members. And just getting out of their ability to do I, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I think, I think um, there's, there's, there's enough ability for them to do it whilst carrying on doing their, their work for the council. I think there's a real issue about release time, but... Okay. But there's going to be consultations. Right. Okay, any other questions for Councillor Mann? It's multi-patent... Uh, Absolutely. Is there any to school? Uh, well, party, do Still one year. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Councillor Hood?